Hello, I'm Bill Gates, Chairman of Microsoft. In this video, you're going to see the future. Windows. On November 20th, 1985, Bill Gates and Paul Allen's company, Microsoft, broke barriers by releasing the revolutionary operating system known as Windows 1 that would forever redefine the way people interacted with and used technology. This operating system is the reason why computers today are so easy to use. Through the innovation and perseverance of Bill Gates and his team of software developers, Windows 1 allowed Gates and Allen to advance Microsoft into becoming the technological giant we know today, from a novel computer to the creation of an entire digital world. All of this began in a normal private school for grades 5 to 12 called Lakeside School. It was here when Gates discovered his spirited passion for computing and software. At this school, he also developed a long-lasting friendship with Paul Allen, who would soon become his business partner. After graduating from Lakeside, he was accepted into Harvard University, but decided to drop out with Allen to pursue their company, Microsoft, which created software for computers. Microsoft's first major deal was signed with the International Business Machines Corporation, or IBM in which they wrote the software for the Altair 8800 in 1975, a computer manufactured by IBM. This computer broke barriers in and of itself, as it was the first ever commercially successful personal computer and single-handedly inaugurated the microcomputer revolution. Microsoft wrote the beginner's all-purpose symbolic instruction code software, better known as BASIC for this computer, which resulted in the making of millions of dollars catapulting them into the forefront of the personal computer industry. Microsoft took the money they made from their deal with IBM and invested it towards a new type of operating system. This system was also designed with BASIC, a general purpose programming language that was previously created for comprehensibility. They called their new system Windows because it had the unique ability to divide applications into Windows on a screen. Windows 1 was released on November 20th, 1985. This operating system broke many barriers, as it propelled the world into a whole new digital dimension. Windows 1 introduced a streamlined user interface, meaning that using this operating system no longer required prior programming knowledge. Unlike other operating systems at the time, one would not have to enter lines of code in order to locate and run the apps. Instead, icons represented the apps which could be launched simply by clicking on them as shown in this video. This was a barrier-breaking type of new operating system called a Graphical User Interface, or GUI for short. The first embodiment of a GUI was developed by Xerox, a computer and printer company, and was named the Xerox Alto. Windows 1 improved Xerox Alto's features and adapted it into its own operating system. Windows's adaptation proved to be superior to the Xerox Alto, as it was innovative as well as accessible. Likewise, Apple created their own GUI called the Macintosh. Although the Macintosh was created before Windows 1, Windows proved to be more versatile in all aspects regarding accessibility and convenience by being available throughout a variety of computers. On the other hand, the Macintosh was exclusively designed for Apple computers, which started at a price of $2,500. In stark contrast, Windows 1 was able to be installed on any computer for... Just $99! Pete Montano, an IT tech manager for Bank of America, explains the influence of Microsoft. Um, so why do you think the Windows operating system was so influential at that time? Um, I think it was influenced because I don't think there was a lot of other products uh, that were being offered that were as successful and being as, as productive as they were. And so a lot of us were getting IBM machines, desktops and laptops on top of the Windows operating system. So that's all we basically knew. Now, there were, if there was other vendors, and I'm sure there were other products, I don't know anything else other than what, what, what Windows was putting out. Along with the software and computer themselves, Microsoft pioneered productivity suites that came with Windows 1, including a word processor, Microsoft Word, and a spreadsheet, Microsoft Excel. Both of these programs broke barriers in their own respective ways. Microsoft Word managed to span across not only Windows, but also the Apple Macintosh. Word was barrier-breaking because it streamlined writing in ways people could never have imagined before its release. It allowed people to type, overwrite, and delete as much as they wanted. This productivity suite is the reason why writing is such an unparalleled convenience today. In addition, Excel broke barriers because of its extraordinary performance. The software is so incredibly powerful, almost every major company in the world uses it to calculate complex functions and create in-depth data charts. 
before Excel, employees spent days or sometimes even weeks painstakingly calculating data by hand and would sometimes lose millions of dollars due to miscalculations. Later on, these calculations were automated by functions in Excel, which saved both money and time for companies. These programs all came with Windows 1. Still, even with all these revolutionary programs, Windows 1 had more to offer. Windows 1 broke barriers by establishing the quintessential piece of hardware that accompanies almost every computer today, the mouse. The mouse introduced a lot of free maneuvering through, through the application. It's, it's so functional. Um, and then the mice are electronic. You don't have to have it tied into a direct device. It can be, um, you know, remote on its own and working side by side by your laptop. So in the impact of that, it was just another tool that was able to allow me to function within that new concept of the computer. Windows was one of the first operating systems that implemented the mouse as a pointing device. At the time, most operating systems used a down terminal and the tab key on the keyboard to perform the tasks that a mouse could easily accomplish today. When bundled into one cohesive unit, these products that came with Windows 1 were already barrier breaking. However, what truly set Windows apart was its ease of use. Anyone could buy a Windows computer and use it out of the box without any prior knowledge of programming whatsoever. Despite all of these functions, when Windows 1 was released, it did not sell very well. This was due to a variety of reasons. First, consumers were new to the idea of a GUI and were hesitant to buy such a new product. They were uncertain of this new idea and skeptical of its practicality. Second, this product was announced in 1983 but came out unbelievably late by two years due to many delays in pushing out this product. It was marketed as a revolutionary operating system, but by the time it was released, the hype had died down, adding to the further skepticism of the consumers at the time. Because of these two factors, Windows 1 is considered a flop. Yet, regardless of the major setbacks, Microsoft learned from it. Without the initial disappointment of Windows 1, Microsoft would have never been able to improve on their already decent software. Throughout the years, Microsoft continued perfecting their operating system. Today, we use Windows 10, which is the ninth iteration of Windows. It is used today for education, entertainment, music production, programming, scientific advancement, and communication. These are just a few of the countless tasks that could be accomplished with a Windows computer. As students, we use Windows 10 computers for homework assignments, research, and projects such as National History Day. Programmers use Windows computers to make software for computers, such as 3D modeling. We, as young individuals, use Windows for video games and online interactions through social platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Businesses around the world use Microsoft Office to do their day-to-day -day tasks, such as creating PowerPoints for presentations and using Excel to predict sales and profit statistics. Windows has managed to stay so prevalent in our society that 83% of all computers on the market run Windows as their operating system. Over the years, Windows 1 has evolved from a new and minor software to a major operating system that is used around the world for a myriad of tasks, from internet browsing for everyday users to scientific research for leading scientists. The scale in which Windows has grown could not have possibly been comprehended at the time of its creation. Windows 1 will forever be cemented in history as a software that created an entire technological universe, breaking a barrier that people weren't even aware existed, and allowed us to do something that we take for granted today, using a computer.